Hi, I'm Rosa. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm back to decluttering and organizing in my bedroom. Still working on my armoire and let me show you what drawer I'm working on next. I've shared this mess of an armoire with you before. And I've worked on a couple drawers in past videos. You see the two drawers that you can see a little black in the handle or opening those are empty because i've moved things into my closet and now i want to work on the next drawer and don't look at this that's future i need to work on this sock drawer that i can hardly open and my goal is to empty this armoire out as much as possible i'd like to get it out of my room but that's a decision i have to make with my husband because he likes the armoire and he wants to keep this it this is a project that i am working on one drawer at a time as I have time. In other words, and I've said this before, I'm eating the elephant one bite at a time. So I don't wanna empty everything out and then have a large mess and not know what to do with it. I want to work on it little by little. So this is my next thing is this sock drawer and let me show you where I plan to put things for now to see if it works out. I have this master closet that is not incredibly small. It's not huge, but it's a space that I drew out when we built our home and I designed it. And I told myself that if it doesn't fit in here, I'm not gonna need it. So that's the limitations I'm working with. And I have purchased these. This is a mesh behind the door hanging solution that I have purchased. It's several large pockets, five of them to be exact. And you hang it behind the door. And what's unusual is I have a bifold or bifold doors for my closet door so i'm going to hang this them is there inside my closet and see how i hung this one on the bifold door i got these mesh pockets on amazon it was a two pack they were pretty inexpensive and this solution may not work but i'm going to give it a try if it doesn't work we'll go back to the drawing board but i have temporarily hung up at the bottom there pajamas underwear more pajamas and on this other door you can see I have hung up a couple handbags I am using all the space possible in this little closet and I say little it's not it's it's a decent size you can see the side view of my closet and if you can't tell I like handbags but that's where we are and I'm going to try to put socks in these mesh pockets. I'm going to see if I can hang up a second set. And these are uh, just under 12 inches wide. And like I said, if it doesn't work, we'll go back to the drawing board and see what solution I can come up with in this closet. And I'm going to be real here. In order to start one project, I need to work on the 10 other things in order to get that project done. And I even had to go hunting for the tripod because I left it somewhere else in the house. So don't be discouraged when you're working on something. It may take a little bit longer because you have to position things, get something else done, worry about the 10,000 other things that come up during the time, but persevere and work on that project. And little by little, you'll be happy you did. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Make the bed so I can empty the sock drawer so that I can work on this project.
sorted now, and this is what I've come up with. These are dress socks that I wear with loafers or boots in, and I have to, I have to say, preface that with, I live in South Florida, it's hot, a lot of shoes aren't worn, worn with socks, so this is winter, going out of town, wearing boots, I need longer socks, those are those. These socks here are all new socks, white ones that I'm gonna put like on the top shelf or at the top bin of that mesh holder. And these are like my everyday socks that I actually wear with my slip-on tennis shoes. So these I'm gonna put in the laundry room because um, when I'm headed out the door and I'm gonna slip on a pair of tennis shoes, I'll grab a pair of socks and I don't need to come back to my closet to get them. I just grab them from the mudroom. These are, these are like fuzzy, they're not really fuzzy, but they're thicker socks that I'll wear to sleep when it's cold. So those can go somewhere that don't see, that don't need to be out front or in the way. That's for the few days of winter that we get. These are also socks that I'll wear with tennis shoes. These are no-show socks. And these socks are socks that sometimes I'll wear to sleep when I need to put lotion on my feet or just need a pair of socks to wear around the house that it doesn't matter if they get stained. These I'm gonna put in the giveaway bin and these are garbage. Oh, you can't see them. Giveaway bin and garbage. They're either stretched out or stained from um, thick lotion that I might have put on my feet. So let's get to work on this. I am in my closet on a step ladder. Here's that bifold door. These mesh behind the door hanging pieces come with the hooks that you put behind the door. And I'm going to hang it up. Not sure if I can have two on one door, but I'm gonna try. So I obviously don't need it open completely when I come in and out because I have two sets of bifolds to enter the closet. And I'm not sure if it's gonna be a problem with this hanging, um, which this these covered ones will eventually move to a guest closet. I just don't have them there yet because the guest closet is still being worked on. So the top pockets that are a little harder to reach, I'm gonna put some of those winter socks and the bottom ones, I'm going to use some of those everyday socks. It's all about um, using your prime real estate for the items you're gonna use more often. Here are those fuzzy socks that I use in the winter. And I really don't use them that often. If we go camping, I'll take them with me and I like having them to keep my feet warm. That looks like it's gonna be a good spot for that. And then I have these socks, which are the dress socks to wear with, um, like I said, boots or loafers or something in the winter. So I'm gonna try them in here. And I might have too many of these, but that's okay. Come winter, when I start using them, I'll go through what I don't like and maybe get rid of them. Or if there's another time, that I find I, I wanna go through my will, but I'm not ready to go through those and to part with any yet. In the next pocket, I'm gonna put some of these brighter tennis shoe socks. My everyday tennis shoe socks that are newer, um, unused, so we'll keep them in here for when those other ones get dingy and I wanna switch them out. And the next thing I have are these no-show socks. I'm going to put the no-show socks in this mesh bin also. And like I said, I may try this out for a little while and decide it doesn't work, but I'm gonna give it a go right now. In this lower pocket, I'm going to put some of the socks I sleep with. Since I have my pajamas over here, I can grab some socks. And these, as I open them up, if I find a pair that's dingy, 
or stained from the lotions I put on that I'm going to get rid of it also. It's a little overstuffed, that's okay because I'll get rid of them as I use them. Now here's a view of what the bifold door looks like now. I have two of those mesh behind the door hanging pockets inside the bifold doors of my closet. And I have the socks all on one side. At the very top are the woolly socks I'll sleep with in the winter. The next one are longer dress socks. The next one are everyday socks, but they're newer, so I'm, I don't need to put them in rotation um, when the other ones get dingy. I'll use those. And that overstuffed pocket right there has my socks that I sleep with. They used to be everyday socks. As I use them, I will throw them away because some of them are stained from lotion and then on this other mesh pocket which I did not show you when I organized I have pajamas and underwear but I'm gonna give this a run and see how I like these mesh pockets and decide whether I'm going to keep them or not now I have really tall doors so these five pockets I'll show you stop at about maybe between three and four feet because the rest of the door, I have plenty of space for the rest of the door. This may be a storage solution for some of you that don't have that much space either. Thank you for joining me as I worked on one more decluttering and organizing project in my home. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hitting the like button and subscribing. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.